Right, let's head over to Mark, who's a Manchester United fan, who's also at the game. Good evening, Mark. Hi, boys. How you doing? You all right? Good, thank you. Yeah, not not bad. We're here to offer counsel this evening for the Manchester <laughs> United fans because you know we, we, we've had we've had wonderful calls from loads of different season ticket holders, and as part as, as rightly so said, we, you know, really sensible fans who are just fed up. We're, we're, are you one of those people, Mark? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've had my season ticket for 17 years now. I'm 25. So that's like the best part of my life. And um, yeah. I just uh-huh. I just feel where we're at is that it's not going to get any better until the Glazers are gone. Now, I know the Glazers weren't on the pitch today, but at the end of the day, we can chop and change the manager as much as we have done. We've got a completely different squad now to what we had under Moyes or Ten Hag. And I just think that the uh, the priority at that football club isn't the on-field success. I mean, I think you can see that at the women's team as well, the way that their transfers have been handled. Um, that You know, I know it's easy to say this, but they're more bothered in, in economic gains than, than footballing gains, unfortunately. Yeah, that definitely seems to be the number one on their agenda is the economy uh, of that club uh, and how it's functioned uh, rather than the performance of the team. And uh, that is a massive concern. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at it as kind of any other product that's not a football team, what they're trying to do is is deliver kind of a fourth, fifth place football team and kind of package it as this kind of greatest football club in the world thing, which still brings in the tourists, the hospitality, people wanting to pay hundreds of pounds to come to the Manchester derby. But Mm. the product that we're getting just isn't that good. And I mean, it's on days like today when we're up against, um, you know, a team like City, a club like City, the, the all of that becomes so, so apparent. I mean, I know people say it all the time, but the ground's falling down. I'm right under the roof in the Sir Alex Ferguson stand, and I get rained on when it rains now. Uh, the training ground, I mean, it's like Fort Knox. None of us are allowed in it, but apparently it's horrible. And City, you've got this kind of amazing sort of sports complex, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they're just way ahead of us. And until the owners are gone and we've got people that want to want to implement a proper football structure at all levels, including women's, including the youth team, you can chop and change your manager and kind of splurge money on, on signings all you want. But at the end of the day, like it's, it's not going to get any better because most players come into work in the morning, they see a substandard training ground. And I don't know, I think you get performances like today where sometimes you look and, and they think kind of be bothered. Well, you know, well, I think players uh, and, and staff... Um, uh, motivated by improvements at the training ground, uh, improvements at the ground, um, structural stuff that's done that gives that gives you a inner belief that the club is going somewhere, coming going in a direction, and that is that investment is not there. The one thing that really worries me about the Premier League in particular is all these hedge funds that are now involved in football clubs, what their priorities are, and the Glazers are in that kind of world of like. A, um, hedge fund um, getting an asset and maximising that asset with no real love of what that asset is, whether that asset is a, a football club or a f- car business, let's for example say. So this is what they've done. They've taken this club and they're going to walk away. Uh, let me tell you, when the Glazers walk away from this club, they're going to have earned a hell of a lot of money. And so in in that respect... They could probably say, "Ah, oh, we did a good job there." Do you know what I mean? And I'm yeah. not talking about on the, obviously the football front because we all know where that is. But that's the worry and that's the concern. I think if you're a Man United fan, that these guys are still there. Um, we have Jim Ratcliffe walking in the building, and I think if I'm talking for any Man United fan, I think they're all looking at Jim Ratcliffe and saying, "Come on, Jim, bring something to the party here. You know, get us back on track." 